How's it going, Modern Manual Therapy fans? It's Dr. E with Modern Manual Therapy, Edge Mobility System, and Untold Physio Stories podcast. And this is one of my favorite techniques for frozen shoulder. So, very commonly with frozen shoulder, at least true frozen shoulder, you're going to see a severe lack of abduction and external rotation in particular. And one of the things we're taught in traditional manual therapy, so this old school manual therapy, I don't know if you can see the air quotes in the camera, is the distraction is one of the things we're going to start with. So typically you're going to start doing a little bit of anterior glide, a little bit of lateral, and a little bit of inferior, and you're going to oscillate like that. And otherwise we just try to do a ton of posterior glides and anterior glides and inferior glides, and generally just beating the crap out of the shoulder. And if they're in the first phase, what's formally called the capsulitis phase, and I'm just going to call it the highly irritable phase, that really doesn't do anything. And again, if it's a true frozen shoulder, you're not going to experience a rapid change in mobility within the first month or so. You might make some changes, and the least you can do is desensitize it. So the best thing to do is desens to desensitize a system that already has high tone is to just give all the ligaments and muscles a chance to relax. So again, if they're very highly sensitized, or even if they're in the part where they're no longer sensitized, they can't accept movement, but they're just super stiff in pretty much all planes, instead of actually taking the capsule and stretching it in that anterior, inferior, lateral direction and oscillating, you're going to do the opposite. So you're going to push a little superior, medial, and posterior, and that should just kind of let the ball sit a little bit more in the socket, but also relax the capsule and all the supporting ligaments and the rotator cuff and everything else that's attached. And by holding that for about maybe 30 seconds to a minute, no more, no less, because if you go 61 seconds, it's actually gonna ruin your outcomes. That's a joke, but some people think that it actually makes a difference to hold exactly 90 seconds. Um, you're gonna slack everything and typically decrease the tone. So a lot of times when we decrease tone and give a chance to the muscle to relax, you might go, to, and maybe they're limited, you know, 10 degrees of abduction, maybe they can get 30, maybe they went from zero external rotation, maybe now they have 10. So now you can just start to slowly oscillate, and potentially rub with an edge mobility band and uh, just do other things to desensitize the system. And now you can get kind of get them moving. That's going to make a dramatic change, just like ISTM or needling or anything else that kind of reduces tone. But one of the easiest things you can start with initially with every frozen shoulder is just to slack it. Okay. So I want you to try this. Leave in comments if you have any current true frozen shoulders you're having trouble with. Just try slacking instead of stretching initially just to desensitize the system, get them moving, then eventually get them loaded. And for sure, give them the expectation that this is probably going to take a while because you can't lengthen tissue any faster than you can hypertrophy them. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to Modern Manual Therapy. Uh, check out Modern Rehab Master, a new online mentoring program of which Dr. Dana Palmer is part of. Um, so I'm, lo I'm actually locally mentoring her here in Buffalo, New York. She didn't even know I was here after <laughs> listening to my podcast and watching my videos for years. And she just I just happened to accidentally mention Buffalo. So yeah, if you're a PT in Buffalo and you didn't know I was here, you can come by at Rehab and Sports Science and check it out and for some local mentoring. Uh, check out Untold Physio Stories podcast. Check out all my products on Edge Mobility System, my ISTM, BFR certificates, and more. Online courses are also there. I hope to see you in a live eclectic approach course soon, and have a great day. Also, do this when the patient is <laughs>